I'm excited. Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom. We are back in attendance one more time. Great day. Yah's coming. Saints Thank going to put on the long, long white robe. Thank the most high for all y'all. Shabbat Shalom. This is Watchman or Derek Yahuda. Uh, Israel, also known as Pastor Derek, on this Shabbat. What's today's date, y'all? The 20th. 20th, huh? Today's the 20th? Yeah. Yeah, May 20th. 20th. Saturday, yeah, May, yeah. 20th. May 20th, 2023. Super excited about being amongst a people so great as the children of Yah, mm -hmm. I be slipping. Mm -hmm. Do me a favor, son. Go in my car and go in the top, at the top, and grab my glasses. I'm gonna go my Hallelujah. You left yours too? Barbara, Shabbat Shalom. Tia, Shabbat, Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. We the people now what? Part two, huh? Uh-huh. We the people now what, huh? Uh-huh. <coughs> so we are excited. Yeah, I, I ain't started yet. But we excited, mother. I'll tell you that. We excited about being in the presence of our creator in a peculiar time. As this, we in some interesting times, y'all. The incredibly interesting. And so we trying to, uh, we trying to uh, make amends with our creator. And we, we skillfully thumbing through the, the book of life, skillfully. And, uh, you know, studying to see whether these things be so. And trying to rightly divide that word and uh, start to dispel and get away from some erroneous teachings and some things that are not true, some things that we got uh, from our sworn enemies. And... Uh, one beautiful thing about it, that's a supernatural pro that's that's what that's what saves us because they lie good. They're real good liars and they're 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 professionals at perversion on every level. But at the appointed time, the most high is causing the earth to regurgitate. Got the earth snitching archaeology and stuff, snitching, artifacts, and blood types and stuff, snitching, a couple of sellouts, I wrote some books that they had hidden and stuff, so at the point in time, the most high would take us through the process, all we got to do is have our hearts right, y'all. All we got to do is have our hearts right. Good to see you in here, Mother Katie. All we got to do is have our hearts right. And he's going to continue to cause the earth to regurgitate truth. Uh -huh. Otherwise, we'd be lost. We'd be lost in the sauce. If he didn't cause the earth to start spitting up facts and truths, we'd be stuck. <laughs> Yeah, he, 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 you know, even the devil got some Judases. Oh. Yeah, he got some folks who wrote some books and start telling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, we searching the scriptures for anything we think we have. Hallelujah. Uh, eternal life. Y'all, let's get this prayer in. Spirit of, being, of the living Elohim, we love you and thank you for this opportunity to come before you. Humbly to know how we're in your presence because we love you. Uh, we're depending on you for our very eternal lives. We're the, even the day-to-day -day operations of this life. We're here on the rest day on the Shabbat uh, to to bless your name, to lift you up, 
uh, to get to know you more. Uh, we're, we're depending on you for a relevant word, a word of instruction, a word of encouragement, a word of direction. We're looking towards the hills for what's coming for our help because our help comes from you, uh, Yahuwah. We love you. Uh, we believe you for restoration of all things. And you said, and some. You said when the smoke clear, we will be more blessed than even our, our ancestors. And we're excited about this truth. We're in celebration mode. Now we're depending on you to send that word even on the day. And we'll hide it in our hearts that we might not sin against thee. And we'll be careful to give you all the praise, all the honor, all the kabah, the glory. Not only now, but forever. In the master's name, Yahushua, uh, we humbly pray, hallelujah, hallelujah, uh, and uh, amen. 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 Kumbaya is my testimony. Come on by. Come on by, Yah, and see about, see about your children, Matty Yahoo. Oh, good, good, good to see you in here. We the people. Now what? Part two, y'all. Part two. Now what? So, let's go back to Jeremiah 31. Jeremiah 31 and 31. Jeremiah is in the middle part of the book. Yeah, I'm exactly in the middle of, of that particular book. Now to get you there, that's it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> I'm getting better at this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jeremiah what? 31 and 31. What you see over there, son? Made you turn your head. No, it just popped up on my phone. What is that? When you met who? Really? And it just popped up. Mm -hmm. Jeremiah 31, 31, huh? Jeremiah 31, 31, y'all. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jeremiah 31, 31. Food for thought, like what helps algorithms, because the numbers is really low. But what helps the algorithm is when you push like or the hearts and all that type of stuff. <coughs> you know, somehow we need to start improving. Push the yeah, you know, when you push the like button or something or the hearts. Oh, yeah. the anyway, here we go. Jeremiah 31, 31. Look what it says. Behold, the days come, saith Yahuwah, that I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel. Y'all got to get that. Because we were taught that the new covenant is for the church, didn't we? Mm -hmm. When the Most High said, I'm making a new covenant with the house of Israel. Are y'all with me? Behold, the days come and say, Yahuwah, I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. Listen. Not according to the covenant that I made with the fathers in the day that I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt. Banks. Green. Y'all up in here. Jeremiah 31. Now 32. Which my covenant they break. So again, we understand that they broke it is the reason why he coming with a new one. Are y'all with me? They broke it. They broke it. It didn't work for them. So he coming with a new one. Is y'all with me? 
Listen. Though I was a husband unto them, said Yahuwah. Did, did, then he explain, they broke it. So he coming with a new one. And then he said, and it wasn't my fault. I was good to them. I was a husband on them. They didn't have no reason to cheat on me. They didn't have no reason to turn on me. That, was, that wasn't justified. They, they were supposed to represent me to all these heathen nations. All these other nations that were serving pagan deities. All these moralist and lawless nations of people. He only picked one nation of people, y'all. Even the fact that he's saying he's entered into a new covenant with Judah and Israel, that was an inconvenience because it was supposed to be just Israel. It wasn't supposed to be Israel and Judah. But they had split. Why? Because of sin. They split. He would let them all, he would, he would let all of them go had it not been for uh, him making a prophecy in the beginning that the seed of the woman would bruise the head of the serpent, the serpent head would bruise his heel. If he wouldn't have, have forecast that, 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 that a prophet would come to save everybody, he could have got rid of all 12 of them. But he said, no, nah, I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep David the house of David intact so that his son, the Mashiach could be born. Are y'all with me? But it was, it was, it was, it was a shame that he had to say he was going to enter into a new covenant with the house of, 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 of Judah and Israel. Are y'all with me? So the 33rd verse then says, but this shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. After those days, says Yahuwah, I will put my law in the inward parts. After those days. After what days, y'all? After those days, I'm going to put, I'm going to put, I'm going to put my word in the inward parts. After what days? Those last days. Yeah, 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 yeah. The, the, the days of, 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 of his vengeance. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What you would say? Yeah. You talk, what verse you in, 33? But, but this is the covenant I will make that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, I will put my law in their inward parts. That's the inward parts, in their mind and in their hearts. Yours is just more descriptive. What is that, the NIV? Uh, authorized King Daniel. Okay. And write it in their hearts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And will be their Elohim, and they shall be my people. So he appointed a time that we was going to straighten up. Right. Then he had his commandments on stone, but he was forecasting a time that he was going to have the word written on the, the inwards of the heart. Are y'all with me? He was going to have the word written in the heart. Y'all with me? As opposed to it being on stone. All right now. I'm going to uh, park right there and deal with it. So we the people, right? Mm -hmm. But now what? Let's go to... Uh, Romans 8. We the people 
Now what? This is the now what? C. <clears throat> Wait, let, let, let's not do, let me think. Should I do eight or seven? Let's do, let's do, uh, we'll do eight. We'll do eight. Alina, good to see you in here. You mean a Yahoo. Good to see you in here. We the peoples now what well, part two. Listen. Eight and one. Look what it say. There's therefore now no condemnation to them that are in the Mashiach, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. This 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 is the new covenant that he gonna make with the house of Israel. Listen. We trying to get away from condemnation, the judgment of being a sinner, the judgment of going against our creator. We try to get to the point that we don't have no condemnation. That's what we seeking for now. This ain't no game, right? The believer is on a mission. There's therefore now no condemnation to them that are in the Messiah. Um, when you deal with theological positions, when people say there's many roads, many paths to get to God, who they call God, y'all, I'm going to rock with this term for this lesson's sake. Is that all right? But folks like to say that there's many paths that lead to God. When, if you really understood in, in John 14, when, when, when the Messiah said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life, no man comes to the Father but by me. No, nobody, nobody can get to the Father but by me. Now, if we were to get a little deeper in him saying that, he said, I'm the way. What's the way? I'm going to be honest with you. The way is being reconciled with what he said. It's the word. He said, I'm the way. What I say is the way. I'm going to tell you the way. Do what I say, you own the way. You own, you own your way. He said, I'm the way, the truth. The truth. What he say is true. It's not a lie. He's not a man that he should lie, nor the son of man that he should repent. He said, if I said it, won't I make it good? He said, I'm the way and the truth. What's the truth? Thy word is truth, the Bible says. The word is the way. The word is the truth. And the word is the life. Ask Adam. When he was obeying the word, he had eternal life. He lost it when he went against what Yah said. That's before the Ten Commandments on stone. His word has always been life. So I said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No man come to the Father. Father is a title, y'all. That's something that Elohim did. He, he created, which made him a father. That's describing him as a creator. Father. No man come unto the Father, but by me. No man come to the Father, but by what he say. Because he is what he say. The word has gone out of his mouth. And it's not going to return void. He sent it out of his mouth to do what? To be born of a virgin. If you ever studied uh, the birth, it was, uh, it was the Ruach HaKadosh. It was the spirit of Yah that overshadowed her and got her pregnant. So it's the Ruah, it's the father, right? Hallelujah. If you really, if you really, if you really knew, but if you, if you, if you, if you theologically twisted on the, on the Yah head, 
I don't want to mess you up, you know. But I'm just telling you, if you got that revelation, you're on your way. They think it's God the Father, God the Holy Ghost, and the Son. Some people believe two. Some people believe three. I don't care how many you believe. Biggest commandment in the book is he's, on, he's only one. And then if you theologically believe it's two, then who's uh, the Messiah's uh, father? Because the father is not, not the one that overshadowed her. It was the, 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 the Holy Ghost, who they call the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit. It was the Ruach HaKadosh that overshadowed her and got her pregnant, just so you know. Are y'all with me? But when we look at this thing, look at it. Since, since I went blank. <laughs> There's therefore now no condemnation to them that are in the Messiah. Are y'all with me? In the Messiah. There's therefore now no condemnation to them that are in the Messiah. There's no other way. Not nice person, not meditating, not crystals, not burning sage, not the ancestors. Taylor in the building. Good to see you in here. Romans 8 and 1. There's therefore now no condemnation, y'all, to them that are in the Messiah. Right? I'm trying to, I'm trying to reiterate that. You got to be in the Messiah. There is no other way. Right? And then then and then don't get comfortable there. Because we've been Catholicized, we've been presented with a new Messiah. We presented we've been presented with a doctrine associated with the Messiah that does not exemplify the truth of the word. You got, folks got an opinion of the Messiah. Oh, come on, y'all. Folks got an opinion of the Messiah that's not accurate. Are y'all with me? Folks got an opinion of the Messiah that is not accurate. I'm not just talking about the new name. Right? I, that ain't even... Many people that call on uh, uh, the new name Jesus. Well, in Psalms 138 and 2, he says he exalts his word over his name. The most important about having a relationship with the most high is having a relationship with his word, what he's saying. All other revelations, he'll give it to you when you obey. You ain't got to worry about that. That's not the big issue. There's all kind of stuff he's going to reveal to us. All kind of more truths he's going to do. But are you willing to obey him? <clears throat> Moshe even had to find out his name when he was in Midian at the burning bush. But yet the Most High was working with him because he was working with the Most High. Work with him. He'll work with you. Are y'all with me? So the big thing isn't whether you know his name or not. We're dealing with the doctrine associated with him. There's a doctrine associated with him that ain't good. It's false doctrine. It'll make you lean on him in a way that don't bring you salvation. Brianna. You got to understand that the whole salvation process is our reconciliation with the word. That's why the Bible teaches us about him and the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. We finna get there, y'all. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. What was made flesh? The word. 
What is our salvation? Being reconciled with what he said. Where did Israel go wrong? They didn't obey what he said. And he said, and I was a good husband to them too. Wasn't my fault. They dropped the ball. But he didn't let them go. He said, then I'm going to enter into a new covenant with them then. I ain't letting them go. False doctrines say they've been replaced or let go. Yeah, I ain't letting them say what you want to say. You got folks think that uh, he, he's been, uh, 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 that his children been replaced. Are y'all with me? He not replacing his children. That ain't gonna happen. It didn't happen and it's not gonna happen. You wanna talk about what he said he was gonna do? He was gonna beat that dog on behind. Is it archive? Biggest whooping on earth. And while he was whooping them, he allowed them to look like orphans too. Fatherless. He allowed them to look homeless. He allowed people to look at him and say, ugh, look at them, despised. Ugh. What's that on his shirt? What's that smell? That's him. Part of the whooping. Are y'all with me? Listen to me. There is therefore now no condemnation to them that are in the Messiah, right? If you're reconciled with him, there's no condemnation. Oh, you can hit a backflip now. You was an orphan, see? Did you know it's a process? He beat us down so bad that he allowed them to do their thing. They was thugs, too. We second thug. You know how we be calling ourselves mugs and Malone and them and we be picking up gold, you know. We be picking up all these names and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? We get them thug names. That's they names, right? We didn't took their thug name. We just we bust us with it. They show you what a thug was, and the Most High said, "I'm gonna send a thug nation against you. They ain't gonna care nothing about you, the young or the old. They gonna do. They gonna do you a job." They 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 gonna do you such a job and make you look so bad that that they they gonna want everything about you because the anointing on your life they gonna want to be everything about you but they ain't gonna like you. And when the revelation come that you're my children because you looking real bummy right now, when when the revelation come that you my children, those that don't have the right heart ain't gonna be able to come to me because the wickedness of their heart, because of the racism, because how much they despise you. Because they thought they was better than you. Can I teach like that? You're going to have to really love the most high. Listen to me. You're going to have to really love the most high. In order to humble yourself to serve a Negro Messiah. And even Negroes have a little problem with it. Now what you trying to tell me? Is he from Oakland? <laughs> Yeah, Uncle Tom. <laughs> 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 What'd you say? <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Tom, yeah, he's from West Oakland. <laughs> he's from the ghetto, y'all. There's therefore now no condemnation to them that are in the Messiah. Listen, who walk not after the flesh? But after the spirit, who walk not after the, listen, Frank, good to see you in here. When you got the wrong doctrine, you're taught you can't be in the flesh because we just sinners. We're only human. We think we got a pass to walk in the flesh. Well, Israel walked in the flesh. And you don't know Yah if you don't know Israel. Because you don't even know how he get out. You don't even understand his character. You think he's a weakling. He's a pushover. 
You think in this land he gonna have a Muslim temple? Yeah. With, with, with some people living there that control the industry, putting out gangster movies, porno movies. And Tel Aviv is the is is, is the is, is is the is the is the capital of of, of of sexual sickness, sexual weirdness. And you believe that his people is living there up under those circumstances. You don't even know the word, not knowing that they got kicked out of the land because of sin. You don't even know that. You don't know that. And he was going to rescue them and put them back in the land after he combed their hair and cleaned them up. You don't even know a second Chronicles 7 to 14. They said, if my people, which are called by my name, they must first humble themselves, pray, seek my face, turn from their wicked way. Then I'm going to hear from heaven, forgive their sins and heal their land. Then they going back into the land. But you believe some, some folks over there at a wall that was supposed to be torn down. Didn't the Bible say there wasn't going to be one stone left on another that should not be torn down? What wall they at? How is there a wall when, when, when Matthew 24 say there will not be one stone left upon another that should not be thrown down? What wall are they going like this at? And what kind of motion is this anyway? Sexual sick self. Dallas people. Can I talk to you? Since you know your Bible. There's therefore, 8 and 1, y'all, Roman. There's therefore now no condemnation to them that are in the Messiah who walk not after the flesh. Hey, we all got flesh. Don't get it twisted. We all know how to cuss and lie. We, we, all, we, we all know how to get jiggy with it. Everybody family crazy, you ask me. Nephew and them. Them Jovis is out their mind. Lil Cuddy and them. You don't want me to call Lil Cuddy and them? Oh, you finna aim up your Lil Cuddy and them? <laughs> well, buddy, bring Cuddy. Everybody muddy. Mm -hmm. Slanging putty. Are y'all with me? There's therefore not no condemnation to them that are in the Messiah. You can't be, you can't be in Gundy. You can't be in Malcolm and them. Come on, talk back to me. Egyptologist. There's therefore now no condemnation to them that are in the Messiah. From the beginning, he it was going to be one seed of the woman. It was always one seed and wasn't more than one. Then it ended up only one nation of people. It wasn't nothing but one. And even when they got beside themselves and split, he said, I'm making them jokers back one. It wasn't nothing but one. And it still ain't nothing but one. There's therefore now no condemnation to them that are in the Messiah. Who? Who? It ain't just in the Messiah. Folks think they got the Messiah and they scot free. No, you're going to have to bring something to the table. Who walk now? You're going to have to learn how to say no to yourself. Messiah said, if any man come after me, let him deny himself. You got to walk in self-denial. Yeah, I know you feel like saying it. Yeah, I know you feel like doing it. Yeah, I know you feel like going there. Yeah, I know you tired. Yeah, I know it hurt. Yeah, I know weeping men do it for a night, but you better remember, joy is coming in the morning. There's therefore now no condemnation of them that are in the Messiah. Who? <clears throat> Different individual. That who, here we go. The word thins the crowd. The word itself separates the sheep from the goats. That's what the word do. The word itself does the separate. You ain't, not, you ain't got to get involved. The word going to do it. It'll cut you out. <laughs> While you're running your mouth, your little religious mouth, <laughs> your little religious lips ain't going to help you here. The word will come slice you on out. Dividing the sun to both soul from spirit. It's sharp. Listen. 
There's therefore now no condemnation. We don't want no condemnation. We don't want no problems. We don't want to smoke. There's therefore now no condemnation to them that are in the Messiah, nobody else, who walk not after the flesh. You still screwing? Then condemnation is for you. You a sexual weirdo? Are you? Don't, don't talk, have me talk about them little wigs now. <laughs> Big as your head is. <laughs> you couldn't get a bigger wig than that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that little wig on. <laughs> Not like a thimble. <laughs> bro, bro. What's holding it up there? Anyway, that little thimble. What, a razor bump? What is it on? Your head. Okay, back to the lesson. <laughs> Is that a commercial break? Listen. There's therefore now no condemnation of them that are in the Messiah who walk not after the flesh. Um death, burial, and resurrection. We're baptized into his death. We gave it up. Anybody that's exercising their rights. You ain't with him. You're not with him. You exercise your right to do you. Do how, how you feel about. Oh, I don't. I don't play that. Okay, that's you. You better check in the headquarters because you've been bought with a price, and your life is no longer your own. Did you know that's the deal we made that we were baptized to his death to rise up to walk in the newness of life. If any man is in him, he's a new creation and old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Did you know that's the new agreement that he made with the house of Israel and Judah? That's not like the deal he made with the forefathers because what he said was on stone and it was represented in physical feast days and festivals. It was represented in clothing. Oh, can I talk on that level? Now, I'm with my Hebrew folks. Do not get it twisted. But don't push a certain part too hard now. You know, I, I, I'm with, I'm with, I'm with uh, 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 Passover uh, over Easter. We, 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 we ain't got to argue that. You know what I'm saying? You know. I ain't even down with necessarily calling it Pentecost either, to tell you the truth. I don't care. But I'm not, I'm not rocking with what Satan brought to the table, Constantine and them. What they, that little package they put together, they keep that. We sitting here now teaching on the Shabbat. I used to do it on Sunday. So I'm not mad at, 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 at switching. But don't overdo it now. You got you to gotta learn what the new covenant he entered into with Israel is really about. Don't go too far. Up your brakes, preacher, teacher, rabbi, whatever you want to be called, watchman. Slow down a little bit. Slow down and look in the book a little more now. Patricia Johnson. There is therefore now no condemnation that of them that are in the Messiah who walk not after the flesh. Even religiously fleshly. Religious practices you think is necessary. Adam wasn't doing none of that. Because it wasn't necessary. Those are tools that the Most High use to reconcile us back with his word. Once you reconcile with the word, you understand what all that was about. I'm going to break it open some more, y'all let me. But I'm just... Tapping at it. Little tap. There's therefore now no condemnation though. What we're trying to get away from is condemnation. This world is condemned. And we're trying to get away from condemnation. There's therefore now no condemnation to them that are in the Messiah. Who? Walk not after the flesh. 
but after the spirit. Are y'all with me? What we walk after now? The spirit. I told y'all John 6 and 63. Said it's the spirit that quickeneth. The spirit is what quicken. You know what quickening mean? Make you alive. Look up quickeneth. We were spiritually dead, cut off from Yah. What made us alive? The spirit. Whose spirit? Yah's spirit. Lucifer's a spirit too. There's a bunch of spirits out here, wicked spirits. But we're talking about the spirit of Yah. It, listen, it's the spirit that quickeneth. And then it, and then it told you this, the flesh profits nothing. You got to get a revelation on what the flesh that profits nothing. Because we just think what don't profit is cussing and getting high and drunk. Committing adultery. Going against the Ten Commandments. All sin, including trying to be justified by religious practices. Oh, I'm trying to tell you something. You can't be the Joker. Remember when those two went into the temple and one was justifying themselves, talking about all the commands and all the comings that he was giving alms, and he was he just this religious cat. That's that's not that's that's not how you have a relationship with the most high through religious practices. How you have a relationship with the most high is to bow to him and to respect him and to obey him all the way to the point that y'all can become friends. You mess with him. He mess with you. He he mess with you on a certain level because you mess with him back. He mess with you first. It's not that we love him. He loved, he first loved us. But when we learn to reciprocate, the, the relationship soars. Goes to ask Enoch. He went to a whole nother level. Are y'all with me? There's therefore now no condemnation of them that are in the Messiah who walk not after the flesh. You can't be led by your emotions and, and serve him. Care how you feel. You're going to feel real too sometimes. Real whatever it is. Real mad, real horny, real lonely, real upset, real I don't care. Real broke, real left eye, I don't care. Real proud, what, pious? Better than other folks? You feel all kind of ways. Feel what, real pretty, real ugly, real, I don't know. Okay, how you feel? We don't live by feelings. We live by the word. So Adam Messiah said, if any man come after me, he must deny himself. You gotta, you gotta learn how to not... Uh, uh, live by your emotions. You too emotional. Be emotional all you want. You better not listen to you though. You got to be like that. Uh, I know how to be the haves and the have nots. I know how to be up and down. I know how to have and not feel like I'm better than anybody else. And I know how to be the have nots and feel like I'm worse than anybody else. You got to be able to have and stay even kill and to be the have not and be stay even kill. You got to be, uh, uh, well, when you have abundance, still, st still in need of the most high. And when you don't have nothing, still you're full and have everything you need in the most high. Staying even, even kill. Like a child with a parent. They ain't worried about no PG&E bill. They ain't worried about no gas bill. They ain't worried about no food bill. They ain't worried about no car bill, no gas bill. They just ready. Get your coat. Let's go. That's what they coming. Dinner ready. You run, run to the table. Mama, I'm thirsty. You didn't say, Mama, you got some money? Well, some of us did, did we? <laughs> <laughs> But y'all get what I'm saying. Mm. 
They took care of it. And we went up in the middle of the night wondering. I wonder if we're going to have some water in the morning. I pray that wasn't the case. Doing the whooping, you know. <laughs> when y'all was whooping us, you might have had to say that. But you, you get the point. You wasn't going to starve to death. You weren't going to die thirst. Are y'all with? There is therefore now no condemnation of them that in the Messiah who walk not after flesh, but after the spirit. We're following Yah now, y'all. 100%. He said, I'm entering into a new covenant with the house of Israel. This is what he said. Not like I did with the forefathers. Because the difference was what he told them was on stone. And the relationship that he had with them in the wilderness was more ritualistic type stuff. It definitely filled with meaning. Everything that the Most High gave Moshe in the mount was aimed at something. It was a shadow and a type of something. And whether, whether we knew it or not, if you don't have this revelation, even him giving his word on stone was symbolic because the stone represents us rock hard head. That's the revelation he gave me. Hard headed folks. And the word is him. In the beginning was the word, the word was with Yah, the word was Yah. Yah is what he say. <clears throat> Are y'all with me? There's therefore now no condemnation of them that are in the Messiah who walk not after the flesh, but after the Ruah, after the spirit. It's the spirit that quickeneth. The flesh profits nothing. Then he went on to say, the words that I speak unto you are spirit. Are y'all with me? The words that I speak on, folks talk about the spirit. The words that I speak on to you are spirit. What's the spirit? The words that I speak on to you are spirit and it's life. What gave us life is the word. What gave everything life that got life. That got it from the most high said it. Ain't nothing around here that got life and he didn't say it. He's spoken into existence. Now, when we get to the enemy crept in and sold some stuff, that's another conversation, y'all. Don't go too, don't mentally go too far. Because we're dealing with what the enemy sold. <laughs> but y'all get what I'm saying, I pray. There's therefore now no condemnation. Um... If we keep it uh, uh, um, scriptural, right? If we keep the same scriptural, right? And we always like trying to gauge, we trying to gauge timelines and where we at, right? And you look at spotlight is on Israel and it really is. And the, and, the, and the climax happens when Israel wakes up. That's the truth, dude. When Israel wake up, when all the lies start to unravel. You know how a sweater is. You get one look and you pull that joker. Next thing, you know, I hope it wasn't a dress. I hope it was just a sweater. Because you definitely going to be topless. You just pull that one string and it just start to unravel. And we live in the times where the unraveling And during the unraveling, uh, you'll find yourself in a situation that your confidence, your confidence in Yah should be growing while the revelation of your helplessness is growing. Did you hear what I just said? The level with the AI, the level of technology that the beast have, 
it's overwhelming. They got some technology like you wouldn't believe. They got face facial uh, recognition software that they can put in a drone and send it and it'll come straight to you. And put a bullet between your eyes. Wow. They can drop a million of them. They could, they, they could, they could, they can send five hundred thousand of them into one region with with facial software, and it'd go to a certain demographic of people and put a bullet in their head. <clears throat> they they got weapons. They got sound weapons where they can play a sound and drop the city. <laughs> They got lasers. So when you see they digitizing the money, getting rid of physical money, they, they want you in a digital car. They don't know where you're at at all times, and they're in control of the car you in. They'll drive you off a doggone cliff. You think you flossing and you made it. <laughs> and say you drove off, you was drunk. You drove off the cliff. They had your car bring you to them. Back to my point. When you, during the awakening, and you wake up to who you are and whose you are, it will build your confidence in the most high. That's real talk. It will build your confidence in him while it will be a growth in your need for him. Physically. Then you're going to know beyond a shadow of a doubt. If it wasn't for him. I'd have been dead. It's been that fact. That's been the fact. They've been wanting to wipe us out. They've been ready to do that. These people wipe out whole continents. They go to lands and will wipe. Wipe you clean. They ain't playing. We talking about some real devils. They don't mind buying up all the uh, 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 food. The, the, the farm field and then lace it all with poison. Lace the soil with poison and grow food out of it. They don't mind doing that. They don't mind putting stuff in the water and just let it run through the through the cities. They've been doing stuff like that. We just been living, didn't know nothing about it. Because the Bible lets you know when you belong to him, you can drink something deadly and it won't even bother you. And you didn't even know y'all did that for you. It's all kind of stuff behind the scenes that y'all been doing. From the beginning of time until now. Him preserving the seed. Israel blew it a long time ago, but he preserved the seed for two reasons. So the Mashiach could be born and he kept his word to Abraham. The only reason why they didn't get annihilated because of y'all said, you ain't, you ain't killing all my children. I'm going to let you touch a whole bunch of them because they disrespect. But now, as we're finding out who we are, that's all prophecy. This ain't no coincidence. We should bring comfort and confidence in him. Because he's supernaturally intervening. He got you. With his intervention, there's a whole lot of prevention that you wasn't even aware of. So when you see the concentration camps and you see the AI and the technology and all the stuff that the devil is aiming and putting up, you know the Bible say, uh, you dig that ditch, homeboy. Mm -hmm. Folks be running around talking about dig two. No, one is enough. <laughs> Ask Mordecai and Naaman and Neil. They tell you, just dig one, build one gallow. That's all you need. You don't need to. Oh, why you building one? Build one for yourself. No, you gonna use the one you building for me. Listen. So as we grow in our knowledge concerning our Father, 
and we're learning to rightly divide the word and we coming out from among them being separate and we getting away from their Catholicized teaching and all the lies they told. Some folks like those lies they tell. Some folks like religion. Some folks want to know that they still can screw and do what they want to do and still have Jesus. Some people, that's a package for some people. Yeah, and when you don't have a proper love for the truth, the Most High said, I'm the one going to send you a lie, a, 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 a strong delusion that you'll believe a lie. He ain't sending you the lie. He's sending you the strong delusion so you can roll with it because you want it anyway. You want it, you got it. Toyota. Oh, that was a commercial break for them. <laughs> Are y'all with me? You want a lie? You got it. You believe he's worth leaving y'all for? Well, there he is. Gone. Gone. Make sure your wig glow, glued down in the drop top. You don't want to blow off and he leave you. <laughs> Glue that joker down, hop in, and pull on off. <laughs> Are y'all with me? There's therefore not no condemnation. I'm going to let y'all go. There's therefore not no condemnation. Oh, that feels so good to me. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, during COVID, it was a little stressful, but I stayed outside though, y'all. Y'all was in the house because I was out there by myself. Me and the homeless people, I was feeding them. But it was a little, <laughs> what's going on? It was like, you look at the TV and they were showing Times Square and all that and it was empty. Like that kind of was like, whoa. I was thinking to myself, boy, that's a lot of power, boy. They emptied the world around the world. All the little squares and the little popular spots. It was ghost towns. You feel what I'm talking about? Yeah. I was up there, boy, that's a lot of power. I said, boy, these devils got a lot of power. And boy, was I wrong. Mm -hmm. That was the judgment of y'all. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, talk back to me. From, from Listen to this. From 1619. Mm -hmm. He said, you serving 400 of them. From 1619 to 2019. Put up a cheer, Tim Sides. Love you, family. From 1619 to 2019, he said 400. Genesis 15, 12 through 14. He said 400 years. He said that after you serve the 400 years, I'm a judge to a nation that did this to my children. It's funny how the disease is called <laughs> COVID-19. What the 19 got to do with it? Right? At 29, we came here in 1619 and 2019, that was the end of the fall. Then he plagued the earth with COVID-19 and shut this whole joker down. Judgment is here. What a mighty Elohim we serve. Now it's time to repent. You look real goofy being a church person sinning. <laughs> you look real goofy with a basket of Easter eggs right now. You look real funny standing next to your Christmas tree with that black and that that black and red checkered shirt on, mm -hmm. <laughs> gathered around a tree. You look real goofy, right? You look real trick or treat with your costumes. And you look real funny right now. It's time. Playtime is over. You can't, you can't bring that in as if it's religious celebrations for the most high. You look real weird, right? It's time to get to the book. It, it's, it's time to get to the book. It's time to wake up. It's, it's time to stop cussing and lying and cheating, getting drunk and high. Not only do we need to straighten up from a, from a religious standpoint, are y'all with me? But from a personal standpoint, it's, it's time to stop arguing and cussing and fighting. It's that time. It is. We look real funny running around here acting up. What you drunk for? Are you serious? 
What you hired for? What are you, what are you doing? What are you doing? Not faithful to Yah. You tripping. We need supernatural intervention. Cold part about it, disingenuous people just come when it get hard. And I'm not saying because in Jude it says save some through through the fire, real talk. And save some showing partiality, comfort, love, soft, right? So I'm not ruling out the different forms that Yah will get your attention. But at the end of the day, you're going to have to learn to reciprocate in love. You're going to have to fall in love with him like he's in love with you. And you're going to have to start respecting him like he respects you. He's respecting the covenant that he made with our forefather, Abraham. And you are to respect that whole process. And we really need to repent. Folks be asking questions. Can I do this and still be saved? Can I do that and still be saved? Why are you even thinking like that? You should be trying to find out what, what he wants you to do. And be saved. Be reconciled. Come on, y'all. <clears throat> Um, I'm going to listen to this lesson again because I'm, I'm going to probably get direction from y'all through this lesson. But it's time to repent. In closing, I am going to reiterate this and then I'm out of here. I gave y'all this homework already, so I'm going to say it again. All you got to do is go look up. When you look up the term church, they're going to say assembly. But Caddis in mind, always deal with what they do with translation, right? Meaning, I'm not, gonna, I'm not going here with y'all like this right now. I'm just going to say a couple things, right? Like grace. I start making the habit to say unmerited favor because grace is the name of a deity. They do stuff like that. I'm just telling you. And, and it's more when they took out the most high's name and they put Lord and God. Well, Bell is Bell is Lord. Does it have multiple meanings? Yeah, it means more than Bell, but it does mean Bell. Leave his name alone. How about that? Try that on. Or like God, God is the name of a deity. It's the deity of fortune. It's a Babylonian deity of fortune. So is money. That's why on money it's saying God we trust. You would assume he's talking about Yah. They're not. That's why there's a pyramid on the back of it with an all-seeing eye of Hasetan on it. Suspended in the capstone. So they just do stuff. So back to my point. My point is switching the term church, which now they say means assembly, just like grace means unmerited favor, when it's really the name of a deity. Church is the name of a people that follows a deity, the sun god. And the original root word is cirque, like I keep telling you, C-I-R-C-E. That's where circle came from, the circumference of the sun. But they put that that's the definition of church, assembly. When, if you do a word of the proper word study, you'll find the assembly is Israel. That's why we're reading in Jeremiah 31, 31 through 34, the new covenant that he made is with Israel. So when you look at Matthew's, Listen to me. When you look at Matthews 16, and it says, upon this rock, I will build my church. That term was the slick move. It still is true per definition, assembly. Upon this rock, I'll build my assembly and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. But the tricky thing was that satanic word church with its true definition. Well, whether they told you or not the true definition, they positioned it for the new definition because now you think it's a new group that the New Testament is for. 
that the new covenant is for. When Paul was one of the original Israelites who wrote it, and said that I'm one. And that Yah hasn't gotten rid of his people. All the scriptures we read. Says that Yah hasn't gotten rid of his people. He always kept a remnant. And they're the ones that was teaching the, the heathens. About the so-called church. They're the ones that was the orchestrating it. Teaching it and preaching it. It wasn't Gentiles or heathens preaching and teaching it. It was Israel teaching it. It was Judah and Benjamin teaching it. But yet through church, <laughs> we start believing that it's two groups of people, one being Israel that got replaced by the church. When the, both covenants is to Israel. Then you start to understand in Romans 11 chapter he started talking to those that are not Israel and said, watch yourself. Don't go against Israel. Because just like the Most High beat them behind and cut them off, he'll cut you off too. But church folks don't have that understanding like I just broke it down, y'all. And now that the cat is out the bag, like I said, he ain't never got rid of his people. So we're going to dismount with this because I'm going to let y'all go. Let's go back to the original scripture, Jeremiah 31, 31. I did it before. I'm going to keep doing it until we get it. So Jeremiah 31, 31, let's start. Let's read. I want y'all to get this and all that getting, get understanding. Look what it say. It says, behold, the days come, says Yahuwah, that I'll make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. Nowhere in there did it say church. The new covenant is with the original people he made the first covenant with. Period. Let's keep reading. Not according to the covenant I made with their fathers in the days that I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt, which my covenant they break, although I was a husband unto them, said Yahuwah. But this shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, says Yahuwah. I will put my law in their inward parts and write them in their hearts and will be their... Uh, 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 Elohim and they shall be my people and they shall teach no more every man his neighbor and every man his brother saying no Yahuwah for they shall all know me from the least of them unto the greatest of them says Yahuwah for I will forgive their iniquity and I will remember their sins no more thus says Yahuwah which giveth the sun listen thus says Yahuwah that giveth the sun for light by day and the ordinances of the moon and of the stars for the light by night, which divideth the sea from the waves thereof, roareth. Yahu, uh, Yah Yahweh is his name. If those ordinances, we talk about the moon, the sun, the stars, and all that, look what it say. If those ordinances depart, from before me, said Yahuwah, then the seed of Israel also shall cease from being a nation before me forever. Did y'all hear that? He ain't never getting rid of the nation of Israel all the way into heaven. Hallelujah. Give him a praise because he's worthy. Hallelujah. 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 Isaiah 31 uh, through 36. Oh, no, Jeremiah. I apologize. Jeremiah 31. 31 through 36. You. Bless you, ma'am. Is that all right, y'all? Mm -hmm. Sounds good to me. We the people, y'all. Now what? Well, that's what. But we're going to get deeper into it. We got to keep... We got to know the now what. We got to learn how to rightly divide. Because now that we know we the people, we don't want to go too far into... The wrong direction. But we definitely got some traveling to do. You just don't want to go too far. Is y'all understanding what I'm saying? Put a phone in here if you understand what I'm saying. Put a phone in here. Put a phone in here. 
put a phone in. Invalid option. You in here, Dean? No. No. Hallelujah. Y'all understand? Good, 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 good. We, 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 everybody want to go higher in him? Put a five in here. Let's pray. You just want to continue to grow, continue to learn, continue to go through the transformation process. Put a five in here. Put a five in here. Even if you, you receiving it for the first time. Anyone? No, 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 no. Put a one in here if you receive it for the first time. I want to pray with you. Put a one in here if you receive it for the first time. You receive it as master of your life. You might have been hanging around religious, having a form of yaliness, but you're tired of denying the power. You want the power. You want the power. Put a one in here. Put one in here. Y'all, let's pray. Spirit living Elohim, we love you and thank you for this opportunity to come before you. Homies know how we're in your presence because we love you. Continue to illuminate your children, quicken us, make us alive. Continue to teach us of your truth. Continue to pour out the truth, your truth. Pour on us. We love you. We need you. We choose you even over ourselves. We choose you. We apologize for any sins we may have committed and uh, give us give us the power. Shout down the power that we sin against you no more. We have no intention of sinning against you. We love you. Write our name in the Lamb's Book of Life. Guard till we see your face in peace and we'll be careful. Give you the praise and honor. Not only now, but forever. In the max's name, Yahushua, we humbly pray. Hallelujah. And I'm out. That was it, y'all. Clap for y'all one more time. Hallelujah. Thank everybody for, for hanging out. <clears throat> hanging out with us. You know what I mean? I'm going to continue to teach the truth as I see it. 100%. I know the numbers get low. Sometimes they do. For me, the numbers really get low around when the sun come out. You know what I mean? Because, you know, a lot of body parts come out when the sun come out. The folks be ready to live it up and, and do their thing. Sun God. Yeah, excuse me. So God worshipers. But folks be kicking it and, you know, and, you know like the hanging and, and, you know what I mean? All kind of stuff. Even giving, giving stop, you know, or it's, it's real skimpy and attendance is low and, you know, people, you know, people be seeking to save their life. You don't want to be like that. You don't want to be the type to seek to save your life because he said you're going to lose it. It's only those that lose their life for him that's going to find it. And we need to stay consistent with him and, and faithful no matter what. And uh, so I thank the most high for all y'all. Thank everybody that puts the share button sharing your platforms with the truth of the word. Thank everybody to tag. And still tell the folks to come in, whether they come or not. We still invite them. Come on in. And uh, sit at the table. Taste and see. He's good. Oh, he's good. And thank everybody that um, uh, financially supports this ministry. Uh, you know who you are. May the most high continue to bless you and increase you, especially in times like these. Uh, you know, we, 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 we thank you. We thank you. We thank you for that. All right, y'all. Uh, let's let's get ready to pray out. We're going to pray out. Heavenly Father, we thank you. I ask you to bless everybody that's in attendance and on the conference line and on the, um, on Facebook Live. Uh, bless everyone. Touch from the crown of their head to the soul. Uh, other feet, I speak a, a special blessing on your children. Continue to wake us up. Continue to increase Israel and even of uh, those that are, are, are being baptized into the family. Uh, uh, increase. We, we speak increase. Have your way. Go get your children. Use as vessels as you see fit. And we'll be careful to give you the praise and honor, not only now, but forever. In the matchless name of who shall we humbly pray? Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, 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 and hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right, y'all. Love y'all. Y'all continue to pray for me as I pray for you. Y'all be Baruch and Shabbat Shalom. I'm gone.